How to get started in game development is one of the most frequent questions that most players ask themselves when they even think of making a game. Video games for many of us are not just toys that we use when we are bored and then put them away. They are something we couldn't live without. Some of us actually love this activity, this lifestyle, sometimes to extreme extents. And at some points in our lives, we actually make the conscious decision of dedicating your life to this great lifestyle. However, starting off this journey is very confusing, as the amount of disciplines and skills are vastly different and they are focusing in many parts of the game development that we didn't even know they existed. Today, video games are complex and finding out how to get started can be tricky. Nevertheless, with the rise of mobile and indie gaming, there are more opportunities than ever to get into game development. You don't need a degree in game development or a lot of money to get started. All you need, the will to learn and a bit of free time. If you're thinking about getting into game development, the first step is to start learning. You can find plenty of resources online in libraries to help you get started. Once you have a basic understanding of the industry and the tools available, you can start working on your own projects. There are many free game engines and programs available that can be used to develop games. The most popular ones are Unreal Engine and Unity, but there are countless more. Blender and Cinema 4D are great options to start making some assets or concepts and to make your first 3D designs. You can also find free or low-cost assets online to use in your games in online shops such as Sketchfab, CG Trader, and Turbo Squid. Alternatively, you can even sell your own assets here. Make a name for yourself so big studios can contact you. Of course, it takes more than just learning and coding to make great games, especially if you are going solo. You need to know a large amount of disciplines that compound the game development cycle. Most jobs in this industry can be broken down into three key roles, design, programming, and art. In order to be a good game designer, you need to be creative and have a strong problem-solving skills. Programmers are responsible for coding the game and making it functional. They take the concept created by the designers and turn them into code that can be read by computers. To be a good programmer, you need to have a strong technical skills to be able to think logically to deliver the mechanics that the directors want, or in the case of solo devs, your own vision. Artists create all of the visual elements in the game, such as characters, environments, and user interface, by working in concept arts, sketches, music, voice acting, mock-up, and so on. With this in mind, creating a good game on your own or by a handful of people is challenging, but there are great examples of successful solo game devs that have managed to take the bread of everyone with their creations, like The Binding of Isaac, Minecraft, Spelunky and Paper Please, just to name a few. Many of them share the idea that being a solo developer makes them free to make any decision they want along the way, instead of following someone else's direction which not always resonates with your persona. Many of these games are indistinguishable from a AAA game of the same category. However, that was the result of hard and consistent work, but it is undeniable that the satisfaction that comes from making your own vision reality is just priceless. Well, having to take on every aspect of the game development is a time-consuming activity that can take you years to complete. Many young and inexperienced people find themselves quitting after some time because they thought it wasn't worth it or the possible burnout, which is more often than none the primary reason for them dropping their projects. So how can you go about avoiding quitting? Many professionals in the field would agree that you need to start small by copying games from your childhood that make you decide becoming a game developer. The project has to be very simple, so you have enough time to understand what it means to launch a game from beginning to end, instead of trying to replicate a AAA game. Those studios have hundreds, sometimes thousands of people working full-time in order to deliver the product before the deadline. So don't get too anxious about time. Your first priority should be to learn the craft. 
Maybe to work in one studio, surrounded by people that understand the process and can offer you guidance into which area of the development you feel more comfortable working and which one to outsource. Fire up Blender or Cinema 4D and start making some models. Just do not delete the default cube, please. <laughs> Try to understand the terminology and the pipeline by watching YouTube videos. There are great channels to look for. CG Cookie offers great tutorials to every level. Pietric Picot has many courses and an interesting methodology that will wow you. And Smart Poly has a fun and interesting ideas for you to replicate in your 3D software. This is just a small showcase of the talent that these people are sharing with us. You can follow alongside the tutorials or watching a time-lapse. Make your own routine. If disconnected videos is not your thing, there are thousands of courses in platforms like Udemy, Skillshare or Wingfox, uh, just to name a few, that range from beginner to advanced in pretty much every skill. There is also a gigantic community in forums, Facebook, Twitter and Discord channels ready to give you a hand if you feel lost in the process. Now, if none of what I've just said is what you're looking for, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to enroll into a university with an establishing reputation. There are many schools and institutes for animations, character design, BFX, post-production, sound engineer, and more. It would literally be up to you how to start. Now, I mentioned game engines before. These are the places where every asset piece of music, sound, texture, and 3D models come together to make the game a game. Now, more than ever, we have the possibility to use the highest quality engines completely for free. And with the vast community that offers support, courses, exposure, and constant updates on the current trends of the market, the possibilities here are endless. Unreal Engine has made many of the most respectable games over the last decade. Many big budget studios are now switching to this program because of the great amount of features it got. Many of those studios even got their own engine developed by them, but they recognize the quality that Epic has made for everyone to enjoy. Now, if any of this wasn't enough, Epic came up with another way to help small developers that have shown remarkable skills by showing their progression online, or simply by making more tools for developers to speed up some of the processes and allow them to concentrate in the artistic side of the pipeline. The Epic Mega Grant ranged from $5,000 to $500,000 depending on your contribution or impact of your project. Again, fire up Unreal Engine 5 and start playing around with it. You could be the next winner of the Epic Mega Grant. Alongside your learning process, you can even fund your first step by launching a Kickstarter campaign. If you got a brilliant idea and have a concept made, this is a great way to make those initial months or years feel more like your business. Additionally, many developers have turned to YouTube once again as content creators. In here, you can showcase what you have accomplished so far by making devlogs. With enough fanbase and support from people, you can make a Patreon page to further assist your journey. This works as a subscription to you and will further incentivize your fans to buy your game once it's out. So now that you know a little bit more about the possibilities of this industry, will you give it a try? There are many success stories from small devs that have managed to take their vision into a career, so you can get some inspiration from, and decide once and for all to start this great journey. I'm David, and remember that hitting the like and subscribe button is the right click to do. Thanks for watching and have a good one.